Okay, girl. It's all right. Everything's gonna be all right. You, uh, you ran off before I could offer to help. Yeah, I didn't need the criticism. Yeah, um, look, I'm sorry. I have been a little bit... Difficult? Distracted. By what? You shouldn't have kissed me like that. How should I have kissed you? I see. Not at all. Look, that's... That's not what I meant. <laughs> You're really not making a lot of sense here. I know. everything. Oh. It's okay, girl. It's okay. I'm here. Uh, Peter, I've, I've got to stay and make sure she's okay. Yeah, I know. I'll, um, I'll stay with you. Peter. I, uh, I have to keep an eye on her. And if something goes wrong, you'll need help, so I'll be here. Baby, how about you? Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, did you see? I mean, was any? Oh, still have to sleep. So, uh, how's she doing? Well, the foal's doing just fine. Fun too. Good. Well, so why don't we try on the, the bar again, Nick? I mean, you know, maybe they're under that table, mate. Looked over the bar twice. You guys looking for these? Your beauty. Where'd you find them? Your back pocket. You had a bit to drink last night. Well, you took my keys. Well, like I said, you'd had a bit. I beat you at pool. I never beat anyone at pool. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm going to drive. Wouldn't have been doing my job if I hadn't made sure of that. Well, you could have just asked. We're not a couple of country knobs, mate. I mean, I can't imagine you went around pinching people's kids in the Alex. city. Let's go, Alex. out of you, mate. You transferred here from the city, yeah? That's right. Fresh air. This guy. City people blow in. They expect us all to master their drum. I used to expect you to obey the law, Mr. Ryan. You did? Good. And I'll try to keep drums out. Oh, this is serious, Jode. Look, can't we just deal with Sean ourselves? You know her biggest fear is that he's going to end up in jail like his brother. And if we go to the cops, he will. Yeah, but then Claire will find out, and Alex, and they'll kill me. Well, so we just deal with it ourselves. Yeah, but why here of all the stupid places? It's not that stupid, Tess. There's free water, good soil. Yeah, but they never would have survived. Nothing else grows with hemp. Sean didn't know that. 
You're not saying we should just leave it all here until it dies? No way. We rip them out, we burn them, we tell Becky we kill Sean in that order. Here, give me a hand. Peter leave? Well, I didn't know he was here in the first place. You ready to try some eggs, Benedict? Oh, I'd rather have eggs boiled. Yeah, see yourself. Meg, mm -hmm. you would tell me if I had bad breath or B.O., wouldn't you? Oh, of course. Oh, you don't? Typical. Scarf like the Nyonks. You want me to tell her? No, it's fine. She's my friend. Telling bad news is like pulling off a band aid, Joe. It hurts, but it's better if it's done quickly. I have to talk to you about something. Jade, save your breath. Shawnee already told me everything. He did? Yeah. He found out Steve had planted dope in Tessa's field, and when he saw him in town, he told him to stay away. You know, Becky, that's And then last night, he tried to rip the plants out so Tess wouldn't get into trouble, but you and Tess were there. So he got scared and ran away, and you guys assumed that it was his crop, yeah? Yeah. And that's why he came to me straight away. So everything's sorted. Nothing to worry about. No. All right, then I'll leave you to it. Thanks for believing in me, sis. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Us Howards, we got to stick together, right? Yeah, sure. No, just because they caught me in the field, they think they can dump everything on me. Well, I guess she saw you in town with him as well. Did she? Uh, yeah, I just roughed him up a bit, you know, to keep him away from the crop. What do you mean, roughed him up? I think she made it sound real bad. Jodie never said anything about you roughing him up. <clears throat> if you knew about this yesterday, why didn't you come and tell me straight away? It's yours, isn't it? Sis, I can cut you in. Get out now! You don't understand. These guys, they made me do it. If I didn't come back with the dope, then I'll be in Just get out! <sighs> Couldn't say a thing, Tess. She already believed Sean's story. I didn't stand a chance. Is that the lot? Still a few to go. shawnee has gone and he won't be coming back. <sighs> Beck, I'm so sorry. I didn't call the cops, I swear. G'day. Liam McLeod, right? G'day. You must be the new sergeant, filling in while Joe's on holiday. Sergeant Frank DeCosta, pleased to meet you. Well, I hope this is just a social call. Sorry, I'm uh, looking for Sean Howard. I understand his sister lives here. Yeah, but Sean doesn't. Is there some trouble? He's been skipping school, hanging out with some undesirables. Hello, I'm Tess Silverman. Very pleased to meet you. Saw you in town yesterday. I meant to say hello. I didn't get the chance. He's uh, looking for Sean. Sean? No, he's not here. No, he's in town, I think. School, yeah. But I'm glad you're here, because there's something I wanted you to take a look at. Out down by the tennis court. So What's that there? smell? It's nothing, it's just wood, dead leaves, smells like dope. Yeah, it does. Look, it wasn't our fault, okay? We just found it in the hemp crop. Put it out now. Yes, it's true, it's not ours. We found it out there last night. So why are you burning it? Well, we didn't want to get into trouble. We didn't think anyone would believe us. Well, trying to get rid of it isn't helping. Well, look, they say it isn't theirs, then it isn't theirs, Sergeant. Any idea who's there? No. 
had its way in the middle of nowhere, it could belong to anybody. It's mine. What? Becky? No, why would you? I just did, OK? You'll have to come to town with me. Let's get on with it. It's not Becky's dope. She says it is. We caught Sean in the field last night, right where we found the plants. And I saw him talking to a kid in town about it. So are they yours or not? Any idea where Sean is right now? No idea. There you go. Find him then. I need statements from you all in due course, and please remember disposing of evidence and attempting to conceal a crime is an offence. Yeah, well, this is a country. We do things a bit differently around here. They do things differently in jail, too. Mate, been hitching. Well, 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 Sean. Well, you've been Sean, aren't we? You've been hiding yourself, mate, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, get in the car and get him. You're gone, moron. I don't think you're going anyway. No, you're coming with us, buddy. I know. Shut up. Get the car. Right. Sit down. That's it. Drive, mate. Comfortable? Just leave. Look, I'm sorry I dobbed Shawnee in. But I couldn't stand by and watch you take the blame for him. It's not fair. Life's not fair. But I guess a spoiled little boarding school girl wouldn't know much about that. I guess I thought I was trying to be a friend. Oh, do me a favour. Don't. Becky, I don't need friends, and I don't need friends like you. Just stay out of my life. The first seeds got washed away and eaten by birds. Then you had to plant some more. Then there were kangaroos. And now we have to build a fence to keep our teenage potheads? You said it yourself, Claire, with farming something always goes wrong. Yeah, but not this wrong. Please tell me that's fertiliser. 